1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. John is not just talking about spirits here. He's talking about people. He said, test the spirits because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So the false prophets are the people. The spirits are the spirits behind those people. Verse 2, by this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit who confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. There's the test right there. But what does this mean? Every spirit that confesses Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. This word Christ, Christos, which means literally Messiah. So every spirit that confesses that Jesus is the Messiah, or using his Hebrew name, every spirit who confesses Yeshua is the Messiah and that he has come in the flesh is of God. What does that word flesh mean? That word flesh in the Greek is sarx. It means the physical material body, a human body. But let's break this down further because the name Jesus or the Hebrew Yeshua, Yeshua means Yah is our salvation. Yah is a short form of the name of God. In other words, John said every spirit who confesses Yah, our Savior, the Messiah, has come in the physical, material form of a human is of God. So why would he say that? Why would he put it that way? Because there were many people in his day and age that said that Jesus was not a human. And so they wanted to make it very clear, no, he was 100% human. And he had to be in order to be tempted in every way that we are tempted, in order to fully relate to us. Jewish historian Josephus lived just around the time of Jesus. Let's see what he had to say. This is the Antiquities of the Jews, book 18, number 3. Josephus said, Now there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man. Notice how Josephus put this. Is it even lawful to call Jesus a man? That's in stark contrast to what a lot of people say today where, oh, he was just a man or he was just a prophet. If it be lawful to call him a man, Josephus said, for he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. He was the Christ. Wow, Josephus himself said that Jesus was the Christ. Again, that word Christ means Messiah. It is clear here that Josephus believed that Jesus was the Messiah. It does not appear that Josephus had the spirit of an antichrist because he confessed Jesus as the Messiah, the Christ, and he said he was a man. But he kind of teetered on that saying, if it be lawful to even call him a man. You see how people looked at Jesus back in those days? No wonder John said, we must test the spirits. We must test the prophets to see if they are of God, to see whether or not they confess that Jesus was actually a man. Continuing with 1 John chapter 4, verse 3, And every spirit who does not confess that Jesus Christ, or Yeshua, the Messiah, has come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist. Similarly, the term Antichrist here means anti-Messiah. Those who vehemently declare that Jesus was not the Messiah and or he did not come as a 100% human. The last part of verse 3, of whom you have heard that it comes, the spirit of the Antichrist, the anti-Messiah, now it is in the world already. Why did John say that the spirit of the Antichrist is in the world already? Because John was a Jew, and at this point in time, there were many fellow Jews who did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. 
Verse 4, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Who's them? The false prophets. Because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Many Christians love to quote that passage because it just sounds so wonderful. But they don't even know what it means. Greater is he who is in you, the Spirit of God, than he who is in the world, the false prophets operating by the Spirit of the anti-Messiah, those who do not confess that Yah Our Savior is the Messiah, and He has come as a human, 100% human. Verse 5, they, the false prophets, the Antichrist spirit, those who are of anti-Messiah, they are of the world. Therefore, they speak of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God listens to us. He who is not of God does not listen to us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Until next time, seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.